Hey guys, how's it going to pocket back to another video? In this video, we're having something different. We're going to be reviewing a Repo keyboard and a mouse. So, let's get started. So this keyboard and mouse set comes from a company called Repo, which is a manufacturing company for PC peripherals such as keyboards and mice. They have pretty cool stuff, so make sure to check them out. And today's product we're going to have a little look at is called 9300M. Now, what does this keyboard set distinguish from other competitors is the fact that they can connect to multiple devices at once and also they are compatible with Bluetooth 4.0, 3.0 and 2.4 gigs. So that means that they can connect to pretty much everything. So imagine working on your desktop computer and on the left you have your laptop and on the right you have your iPad Pro. And imagine you're writing letters to multiple people or maybe having some Word documents, some PowerPoints and stuff like that. And because the task is complicated, you kind of need to use all the three devices. So you could use this keyboard to switch from your main desktop computer to your laptop by simply pressing on one key to go to your laptop and pressing again another key to go to your iPad, which is very easy to do so. So as soon as you open it, you're going to get the mouse, which is a plastic made mouse. And the cool thing about it is that when you press on it, you do not hear the, the click that you normally hear from any other mouse, but a, more, a much more quiet version of a click. Apart from while pressing the wheel, which is going to sound like a normal typical mouse. On the back, this is where you have the connectivity. So you turn this on in order to turn your, the connectivity of the mouse on. And you press on this Bluetooth button in order to switch from one, one device to another. And here at the bottom, this is where you can uh, place your batteries so it only accepts double a batteries so pretty confident and also you get the connectivity usb top of all, it has an invisible sensor meaning that it can work perfectly on your desktop perfectly on a mouse pad but if you put it on a glass or in a very glossy surface it may not work as you expect so so please keep this in mind although that it's a pretty good looking mouse all of it made out of plastic as you can see on the reflection of the light and also it has the Raypoo logo on top here. And the last thing to unbox for today is the actual keyboard, which connects to up to four devices at the same time compared to the mouse up to three devices at the same time, which is not a bad keyboard at all. The front is covered full of plastic by the reflection of the light and also the keys as well, and also the background material. So the piece between the keys is also made out of plastic as well not metal which you probably expected but on the back this is actually made out of metal which feels pretty nice on the touch also this is where you can put your batteries which accepts two triple a's batteries and also you have the on and off switch so you can enable connectivity also the good thing repo does is that they provide you batteries by themselves so they provide you one double a battery let's take a look they provide one double a battery and two triple a batteries so you can use one for, for your keyboard and one for the mouse. Now let's have a look at the keyboard on the top. So as you can see, this is a full keyboard. So as you can see, it contains a numeric pad. Also it contains navigation keys right there on the arrow keys and everything else that you should expect. So let me bring my Apple keyboard so I can show you what I mean. So putting this side by side, as you can see, these are all the navigation keys which are found on the arrow keys and some of the num keys so these are going to be something that you need to get used to and you can access on the navigation keys by pressing either alt or control and also you have the numeric pad here as well which is also found on the apple keyboard as well as as the function keys on the top and also you get uh some other keys such as go back or forward uh check your emails home Previous song, next song, and also all these play music buttons, which are, can also be found on the Apple keyboard as well. So if you are familiar with using an Apple keyboard and you use them quite a lot, you can get used to this as well rather quickly. As you can see on the key 1, 2, 3, and 4, actually let's bring a closer look so we can see everything what's going on here. So as you can see on the 1, 2, 3, and 4 key, there are some, some Bluetooth and connection signs. So pressing FN and 1, this is going to enable connection 1. So that means you can go to the device and then go to Bluetooth settings and then you pair the keyboard with the device. And if you go to connection 2, you're going to enable another connection. When it's turned, you move on to another device and then you connect this keyboard to another device. 
then you go to three and then to four and then you do the same thing now please bear in mind that number four this is only a connectivity for 2.4 gigs devices and then after you connect it to more than one devices you can switch to one device by, by another by pressing either one to go to the first device you connected two to go to the second device you connected and and on and on and on after explaining everything about this keyboard and this mouse let's actually take them into action so unfortunately not the best setup but here we are having uh, my Mac mini desktop computer also we have an iPad mini right here which is going to be used as you know a mobile device here we're having a Windows laptop and here's, here's Packard and also we're having a MacBook Pro in the end so these three are going to be the main devices which are going to be working on and the mobile device which is going to be the iPad is going to be you know for uh, like typing notes and stuff like that I'm going to be using just my keyboard and my mouse to switch on to all these different devices so let's see how this is going to work out First of all, we need to connect the mouse via the USB provided with it to the desktop computer so we can move on and enable Bluetooth. Remember to turn on the keyboard as well and then switch to Bluetooth 1 by pressing the FN and 1 keys. After turning on, after turning on your Bluetooth, you're going to see a device named as Rappo BLEKB, which is the one which you should connect to it. After connecting to it, you may be asked to type some numbers so you can confirm that your keyboard works. After that, we're switching to the second line of both keyboard and mouse by pressing the FN2 keys on the keyboard and pressing once the Bluetooth button on the bottom of the mouse. Then move on to the laptop and then we go to settings, never Bluetooth, and we hold the FN and two keys for a couple of seconds, up to three seconds, so we can discover the device. And then we're doing the same on the mouse. Again, you may need to hold out the Bluetooth button on the bottom of the mouse in case the laptop cannot discover it. Unfortunately, I faced a few technical difficulties because I realized that I'm using the wrong channel on my mouse, the one which is already connected to my desktop computer. So I had to press the Bluetooth button a couple of times so I can go back to the open Bluetooth channels. So after doing that, I successfully connected my mouse to my laptop and at least but not last, the MacBook Pro, again, switching to the third Bluetooth channel on the keyboard by pressing FN3 keys and pressing once more the Bluetooth button on the mouse. Again, holding down the FN and three keys on the keyboard for three seconds, go to the settings and connect the keyboard under the name of Repu B-L-E-K-B. Same as the mouse, again, you may need to hold down the Bluetooth button after it's discoverable, Repu MS 4.0, you connect to it and then the, all the computers are now connected. Now after that, I realized that the desktop is connected to both Bluetooth 1 and 4 channels. And because the iPad could not connect for some reason to the number four, then I went to the first channel by pressing on FN1 keys, went to the iPad, went to the settings, enable Bluetooth, and then I connected the iPad via the first channel. So now FN1 is directed to the iPad, FN2 is on the laptop, FN3 is on the MacBook Pro, and FN4 is on the desktop computer. So finally, I'm performing some tests. So as you can see, I'm switching between my computer. So first we're having the desktop computer and time some random text on Google processor. And then I need to switch on my laptop, again, typing some funny stuff. And on the MacBook Pro, finally, again, typing uh, some random stuff. And finally, on the iPad, I'm going to the notes and typing some random stuff. I'm not entirely sure if you can see the lines typing on the iPad, but it definitely works. That's why I type quite a lot of stuff. So I can ensure that you guys can see it. So as you can see, I was able to, to switch between all these four devices and carry on my work from one to another, increasing the time of my productivity. Instead of having to move my chair to my new laptop, move my stuff, and then have some space so I can type on my laptop. Then again, uh, turn around my MacBook Pro so I can have some space to type there as well. And then on my iPad, just, just uh, using my, my fingers and type with my fingers. That definitely is not very convenient for me, unfortunately. So having a keyboard like that, which will be able to switch between devices and a mouse as well, that will be a great deal in my case. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and test how loud the keyboard is while typing random stuff. So we're gonna compare it to three different keyboards. We're having a typical full-size Apple keyboard, a random Windows 10 laptop, and then finally, a Butterfly 3 keyboard on my MacBook Pro 2018. So let's see how it goes.
So fortunately, the Rebel keyboard was probably the loudest among the, all the other four keyboards, if you want to include the iPad as well. But if you compare it to the random Windows 10 laptop that I have on the left, it's not that much louder than that. So final impressions, I would say that I actually like this keyboard. It really makes me much more comfortable while working on multiple computers or multiple devices at the same time because I don't want to move my chair and then just free some space so I will be able to type on my different computer and then on the other again free some space because it's going to be overwhelming in the end. I like to have things done very quickly and having very short amount of time switching from one thing to another. So I think I'm going to stick with this keyboard. Finally, you can buy this keyboard and the mouse as well by the links down in the descriptions. You can find it on Amazon and other retailers such as Argos, PC World at around £30. So do you have a very productive friend who likes to work on different devices? Then don't forget to share this video to them because you may make their lives a lot easier. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to let me know down in the comments what do you think about this keyboard and whether you like working between many devices and whether this keyboard is going to help you out to increase your productivity. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to receive updates for every single video we upload. Thanks for watching and as always, I will see you in my next video.